And the Wright brothers themselves came with the first airplane in the United States. The Wright brothers themselves only marketed their plane, primarily marketed their plane to the U.S. Army because they did not really foresee much use for an airplane outside of the military. They knew you could strap a machine gun on it and the, and the army might like that. But the, did the Wright brothers foresee Delta Airlines, like an Emirates, an A380? Like not in a million years. And so I think it's true that in a lot of things in life, I think, I think it was Peter Thiel who said this. He was like, when things are going wrong, you underestimate how, how bad they're going to get. But when things are going right, you underestimate how big it's going to be. I, I may have butchered that quote, but it's something like that. And it's clear that AI is right. And so it's almost certainly the case that even the optimists, even the Sam Altman optimists are underestimating where it will go. And a lot of the reason for that is because new technologies is not what the inventor, whoever that might be, built. It's what other people go on to manipulate it as. And that's why the Wright brothers came up with plane and now we have the A380. Like it's other people manipulating things along the way to create something just gigantic. One perfect example of that with AI is OpenAI have created this large language model which can do all these wonderful things, but then people are using that same technology to create AI agents, yeah. which are equally astonishing. I spent the last couple of weeks using AI agents to build some software. I'm someone that has no ability to code at all, yeah. but I can sit in my bedroom and speak to this agent and tell it to build me a new to-do list or a new website for the podcast that tracks who's been on the show and follows them in the new, like I can tell it to do anything. And for what's probably costing me a dollar a day, yeah. it's building me software now. And we're just at the start of that ex exponential curve. So if we now think that these m large language models are going to be able to create things, create digital things, yeah. things on the internet, this podcast is on the internet. We know that it can create podcasts. We know it can create videos, images, software, I look at that and go, you play this forward. And if I apply your optimism um, analogy, your optimism um, lens to it, where I go, we're underestimating this curve. It's hard. It's really hard to see how this isn't tremendously disruptive in the long term. Not even the long term, but in the short term. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll give you one example. You, you, you talked about coding there. We're doing a little remodel on our house right now. 